Okay, how to put a ferrule together. This should be a simple one. Okay, here we got a ferrule nut. We'll get closer. Okay. Okay, that nut, nut is specifically designed for ferrules and ferrules only. This is the ferrule itself. This is tapered on both sides. Uh, one use. You can't pull it off again. And here is the other half of the ferrule nut. Now, this ferrule fits in kind of like that. And the nut, or the uh, the fitting the ferrule goes into is designed just for the ferrule and what it's going to do is it's going to form the ferrule down squish it so that here's my piece of tube it fits over it's going to squish it down on there so it's tight on both sides the nut's going to squish it in one side and this other part of the fitting is going to squish it in the other but that's what it's going to do Okay, the tubing, cut the tubing with a tubing cutter. Don't cut it with a hacksaw or something. It'll have burrs all over it. Uh, tubing can't be oval shaped. It's got to be round. This is not going to work. These are used uh, natural gas, propane, uh, water lines. They are not used in vacuum conditions. A vacuum, if you put a vacuum on this thing, it'll leak for sure. Anyway, this is uh, the ferrule. I put my nut on, put my ferrule on. This the only real important part of this is make sure this is seated. If that's seated down good, you're okay. So you make sure your ferrule, your your uh, tubing is seated against the bottom, and then you get your happy wrenches. And and you can feel it start forming down onto the tubing. Reasonably tight, don't get nuts. And I'm going to take it apart. Okay, you can see it's been squished down right there, and that should seal pretty good. Uh, if you have trouble getting this thing to seal, especially with natural gas, a little bit of pipe dope on this thing will not hurt anything. Don't get none of the tubing, but a little bit of pipe dope on this thing will seal it. Uh, also, if you want to, you can put some pipe dope on the threads. The reason you're putting the pipe dope on the threads is not... To seal it because pipe dope is a sealer but it's only for tapered threads but it's a lubricant you can use oil too if you want uh, but if you tighten down with some sort of lubricant on the threads the pressure you're putting on there with your wrenches will be transferred to the fitting rather than being eaten up on the threads so uh, told you it's gonna be simple and easy piece of cake. Tighten them up, leak, leak check them, especially on gas, obviously on water you're going to see it. If it's on gas, definitely leak check it with soap bubbles or electronic. And that's it.